okay, let's let's even go more meta. Okay. And it's relevant here, and we haven't mentioned the word language, uh-huh. although it's vitally important. Right. Uh, I spent a lot of time with Noam Chomsky okay. and, was, and, and, and talked to him in this program and other times. And one of the things that he surprised me with in one of our early dialogues, and I never thought of it in those terms, and I started to read up on it, is when he said language has nothing to do with communication. It, uh, he, he was <laughs> not nothing, but it evolved not to communicate, but to talk to yourself. Mm-hmm. And it was an ascent. It, it evolutionarily was useful because when you can talk to yourself, then you can, that's the first step to kind of consciousness right. and planning. And uh, and so it's really much more important. About, and I got some of that from reading y- your book as well. And I wondered if you could comment on, sure. on that notion, that language so if we go is back, better. So if we go back to the split brain mm-hmm. patient and the, the tales they're weaving about why they do the behaviors they're doing, where's that coming from? So th- they have their brain is forming some um, schema, some understanding of what is going on. And out of that is coming a narration, I guess similar to what Chomsky was talking about, yeah. verbal narration of of what is in that schema that then is what you, you know, you're talking to yourself about. Sure. And so that is where what you're experiencing is the content of that narration. That's what I do. I talk to myself all the time. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm not being facetious. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine doing anything without talking to myself. Mm-hmm. And well, I mean, so you'd agree with that notion that, yeah. that, 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 but, and I think, but a lot of people might then push further. And I, I don't saw know about that. Agree. I don't know about the, the evolution of it, but yeah, the, the, but, the, but, well, a lot of people might go further. And I guess I would have saying that without, well, the question is without language, can you be conscious? And conscious in the sense that really matters. Right. So that, which, I mean, which I would argue is self that, that, That's vague right there. But. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, I, I was going to get there. Uh, to me, when you talked about consciousness and you talked about uh, autonoetic, yeah. what really matters is self-awareness. Right. To me, self-awareness is at the heart of it. So, yeah, but let's, okay, so we've got autonoetic. Yeah. And so we agree that's the, the you know, the, what we really want to know about. Yeah. But other animals certainly can have noetic. Sure, sure. And, or a noetic. Yeah. And that's why I like that that distinction between those three kinds, because it doesn't mean you have to dismiss animal consciousness to say that there's something unique about humans. If people get all upset about saying, oh, humans, uh, we, we say humans are different from animals. Every species is different from every other species by, yeah. def- by definition. I well, mean, so we'll, we'll, we'll get some hate mail for you in a second, because I want to talk <laughs> about animals and, and emotions, but do you think language is necessary for self-awareness? For what we call self-awareness, I mean, yes. Um, the, you know, I think th- there's developmental data that uh, a very well-respected developmental psychologist named Michael Lewis from Rutgers um, has a, th- a book on the I don't know the, the emergence of consciousness or something like that. And he, what he claims, and other developmental people do this too, that um, personal pronouns are key to the development of self-awareness. You know, it gives you something to hang it on. I, me, mine. And once you have those concepts, then it just opens up that world of, you know, I'm different from X as opposed... So this is what's called subjective uh, self-awareness as opposed to awareness of self as an object. You know, awareness of self as a subject versus an object. Any organism or any animal can have a body awareness for certain. Um, But that's different from knowing that it is you that is having the... Should, in that context, should, should I also over, obviously oversimplified Chomsky. The other, it's not when we talk about language; it isn't just labeling Absolutely. or expressing wants. For Chomsky, the thing that led to brain development is that the language is infinitely malleable. That that start that you can create an infinite number right. of different sentences, and therefore it opens up a world of possibilities. Right. And it's the possibilities that, in some sense, it, you know. So I think that's yeah. vitally important. So yeah, I mean, people say, well, people who are born deaf and dumb, they're not unconscious. Of course not, because they have all of the cognitive architecture that language has changed and and made the human brain the way it is. 